Hey VC, Gary's Vinyl Dungeon here. It's been a while since I made a video. I thought I'd make a couple because I got way too much stuff going on here. Um, quick update on my uh, back. Um, I went and had a uh, procedure done. Um, you first go and you have to do two practice procedures before they do the third. What they do is they go in and they take radio frequencies and burn the nerves in your back so you don't feel any pain. Well, f when you first go the first time, they shoot lanocaine where they think the problem is. Um, I got out, the hospital felt great. About nine hours later, it wore off and I was in pain again. Then the uh, second time I went, uh, same thing, lanocaine. Um, it worked for about an hour and then the pain come back. So. I was a little hesitant on that. I don't know if they just didn't choose much lanocaine in there or what. So the day I had the procedure done, I went in and um, they um, they have to probe you, like, and they keep like sending like electrical charges down here. And when they got my leg jumping, they knew that was the nerve going down my my leg. So they cauterized with the thing, and um, they shot a bunch of lanocaine up this time. Woke up the next morning um, and I was in pain again. I didn't know whether the pain was just from them in there poking around or whatever. So I waited a few days and I was worse off. It hurts worse now than it did before. <laughs> but, uh, you know, shit happens. But I uh, got some uh, jazz here I want to show you. Um, Picked up, I've picked up a lot. It's been almost three months since I made a video. But here's um, John Coltrane Impressions. Try to get the reflections off there. I picked up that. Um, Thelonious Monk uh, Trio Reflections is the name of the album. I don't know where to get for this. But uh, great album. Really like it. I like all these. I'm out, really actually starting to get into jazz more than I ever thought I would, to be honest with you. It took me a while. It probably took me t till three years ago, so 65 years, and then all of a sudden I'm liking jazz. Who would have thought? Uh, another Thelonious Monk. This is called Round Midnight. And I don't know. I, can't, I don't have my glasses on. This is from uh, Jazz Classics, pure vinyl, audiophile grade. Um, Wax Time LP is the name, is the label. Uh, let's see. Another side of Coltrane. Uh, this is a two album set. Let's see if I can get over here and do this. Um, like I said, all these records really sound good. Uh, Another John Coltrane, Birdland, 1962. Another good one. Um, Blue World, John C Coltrane. This is on Impulse Records. Um, I seen somebody else show this album on the uh, BC and they were talking about how much they liked it, so I picked it up. It's uh, Back at the Chicken Shack, The Incredible Jimmy Smith. This is a blue note. And sounds great. Of course, I haven't got a bad blue note album yet. They're all pretty pretty good quality. Um, here's another one, Miles Davis, Porky and Bess. Columbia label. Ah, John Coltrane, My Favorite Things. This is another jazz classics of pure uh, virgin vinyl. Uh, Art Blakely and the Jazz Messengers. This is another blue note. I seen somebody else show this too and I decided to order it. Uh, Here's a uh, soundtrack from Licorice Pizza. Great soundtrack. I'm, if you watch my channel enough, you know I'm not real big on soundtracks. 
But I've seen this sitting in the uh, record store, and I looked over the songs, man. I said, I gotta get that one. There's a lot of great songs on here. <clears throat> uh, these, this is, a, this pile here is a lot of uh, um, Walmart exclusives. I went up there one day and spent 200 some dollars on Walmart exclusives. <laughs> Mostly, I think every one of them's colored vinyl. Here's uh, Aretha's Gold. This is on the uh, uh, Red and Green Atlantic. Uh, it's yellow. Right there, you can see it. I ain't dragging all these up. A Love Supreme, John Coltrane. Walmart exclusive on Cobalt Blue. This one really sounds good, and it's got a lot of great songs on it. This is uh, Ray Charles, True Genius, Signs of Ray. This one's, or it's a double album on, a it's orange vinyl. Uh, Darius Rucker, this is on orange vinyl, another Walmart exclusive. This is called uh, Greatest Hits Volume 1. Yeah. Damn records. Here's um, Five Finger Death Punch. This is a Decade of Destruction, Volume 2. This is on Cobalt Blue. This is a really good album. I'm, I'm really glad I picked it up. I've seen it sit there a few times, and I just kind of passed it up, and then I decided to pull my phone out and listen to some of these songs, man, and I liked it. Picked it up and it sounds good. Like the songs. I think this is a double album too. <clears throat> Here's some I got. A lot of these were um, sealed. My local record store, he opened up another whole side of the building up. It's crazy how big it is now. Biggest record store I've ever been in. I mean, this thing is huge. He had about four or five bins full of records that were old records that were still sealed. And uh, I picked up a bunch of them. And they, cause they were, they were relatively um, cheap for what you were getting. Uh, the Birds, further along, this is on Columbia. These things are not gonna sit here. Hold on a second. These records have decided they want to take a walk. Okay, another one. Uh, Traffic, Mr. Fantasy. Uh, best of Spencer Davis Group. I don't see too many people showing any of this, but this was a sealed album. And um, I used to listen to it. I think this is from this... Um, late 60s, it's on Rhino. But this is a good album, really like it. Songs I you know, grew up with. Here's another one I picked up, Lover Boy, loving every minute of it. This is on Columbia, I'm trying to get that glare. Uh, I uh, pulled out an album that I've had for quite a while. Probably had it 10 or 15 years. It was Molly Hatchet. Now, I've seen these guys live three or four times. And man, they really put on a show when you go live. This is back late 60s, early 70s. And uh, started picking up some of their albums. I had all these on CD when I was young. But uh, decided... To Get them on vinyl. They were relatively inexpensive. Uh, Take No Prisoners, Molly Hatchet. You know, they're a southern rock band. Uh, Battleground. This is a double album. They always had cool covers. This is Red Vinyl. It's Jukebox Saloon. Keep on wanting to set them down there. Why is it albums? They get air in them and they don't want to stay there. Picked up, uh, let's see, 
These are new. Picked up a uh, Pearl Jam Lightning Bolt. This is a really good album. I like, really like Pearl Jam. Um, double album. Uh, I've seen this sitting here uh, at the record store, and I decided to get pick it up. Um, I've seen it, quite a few people show this album, and it, it's, I can't believe how good Robert Plant sounds, as old as he is, but, uh, and Alison Krauss. This is uh, Raise the Roof. It's got a lot of really good songs on it. It's a good lesson. Uh, I have this on CD. I think it came out in 2012. Goo Goo Dolls, Greatest Hits. And the uh, one song is live. It's not, this is different than the CD. I'm not sure why they did it, but... Uh, I think its name is the one that was live. It doesn't sound as good as the the album. Um, another Walmart exclusive. It's White Marble. It's Alan Jackson's latest album, Where Have You Gone? He's one of my favorite country singers. My father was a Georgia hillbilly, so he got me into country early. Uh, this is a really good album. Um, Peter Gabriel, this debut solo album. I don't know if this is an older one, but uh, I really like that. I'm going to play that a lot. Uh, My Morning Jacket's latest. Another good album. What are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? 12 minutes. Okay, Steve Winwood. Double album. I think this might have been his uh, debut album. Mm. This is another good album. The Clash Hits Back. It's the greatest hits. Uh, three album set. There's the songs on it. It's a really good album. Another one, this was one of the ones that was uh, in that same record store. This is a uh, cheap trick. Yeah, I paid, uh, it's Hub City Vinyl. I paid seven bucks for it. Got a little ring wear, but sounds good though. Here's The Doors, live at the Bowl, 1968. Legendary show, of course they gotta say stuff like that. What is this? Uh, it's got a lot of good songs on it, though. Always love the doors. Okay, that and that and that. And I went crazy with box sets here lately. This is uh, the newest uh, Skid Row box. Whoa, almost lost them all. Skid Row box set. It's uh, one, two, three, four albums. One, one's a double album, and one's uh, and there's uh, there's five albums. Yeah, five albums. Damn, it's light. I'm not sure I like that light or not. I bought one of them rings. <clears throat> um, Stevie Nicks, Stand Back, 1981 to 2017. Another box set. Ugh. Sabotage by Black Sabbath. It's got a seven inch. Um, it's got uh, two albums and it's got a really nice colored page book inside. And it's really got some cool pictures in it. Uh, Let It Bleed box set. Super Deluxe box set as they call it. Another good album really good. Sounds good. <clears throat> oh, shit. Yeah, Tattoo You. It's got this, uh, I don't know if you can see it. This has got, a, this has got a book in it that's really, 
got great pictures in it too, man. It's, I love when they put books in them like that, man. I like looking through them. Um, yeah, brain fart. I'm on a, I'm on a pain pill. <clears throat> Rolling Stones. Bounce set. This got a lot of good stuff in it too. 1973 European tour. It's got a live album and a, and a regular uh, album. This album here is really good. Genesis Live. It's got it's got a lot of nice stuff in it. Great pictures. Really, really nice. Last Domino. I hate showing this many records because I know I get a little bored when I watch somebody else's videos that are too long. I'm on 16 now. Uh, Eagles live at the Forum 76. Best of Grateful Dead live. Of course, half their albums are live. <clears throat> Um, I've really been getting into Echo and the Bunnymen. Um, uh, the Omaha introvert uh, introduced me to him, and um, she always showed a lot of them, so I decided to pick up some. And I really like them. It's one of them out, uh, groups that kind of flew over my head. <clears throat> Didn't listen to them when they were popular. Here's uh, Def Leppard, uh, Vegas. I mean, uh, Hits Vegas, live at the Planet Hollywood. Um, heaven up here, Echo and the Bunnymen. That's kind of a wild looking label too. It's in the, I can't see it. I'm blind. Uh, Greg Allman tour. Um, this is the one I believe that was in uh, Baltimore. I think I'm having a brain fart. I think this was the one they did in Painter's Mill. <clears throat> uh, Cheryl Crow, double live, it's pink. Uh, I've seen this show quite a few times on the BC. It's the uh, Northeast Corridor by Steely Dan Live. I can't, I couldn't believe how good they sounded. You know, they're, they're getting up there, and uh, they really sounded good on that tour. Here's Neil Young, Old Ways. I had a copy of this. I picked up used, and I seen this. It was fairly cheap. I put a lot of stuff on Amazon and put it on my wish list. And then when you go in there looking, they drop them, you know, like some of them, they go down like half price. A lot of them box sets I found really cheap. <clears throat> Here's uh, the latest by Neil Young, Barn. <clears throat> uh, this was that EP he did, The Times, the 20 lockdown during the COVID. It's... Uh, Eight songs, I believe. And I picked up a Dell 19. I also picked up the uh, the latest one, too. I don't know where I put it. I think it's over there on my other stereo. But I picked up uh, 20, what's it, 25. <clears throat> Go get it. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. <clears throat> this is uh, 25. Everybody knows this one. Uh, she's got such a pure voice, man. I tell you, sometimes some of them songs are so clear it uh, <clears throat> gives you chills. I think that's it. Oh, no. 
box sets. I mean, uh, CDs. It is a box set, though. Cheap Trick, the complete epic album collection. Here's the album. See how it's in it. That's one that I put on Amazon wish list, and then it came up, you know, low. Sometimes they only pop them things low for like two or three days. That um, Skid Row box that I got, that was um, 200 regularly, and um, it went down to 139. And it sat there, and then it went down to like 116, and I got it. And then like two days later, it went down to 99. But then it went right back up to like 139. So they, they, I don't know why they jumped them prices all over the place. I have no idea. But I got a good price, so who knows. Okay. Bought some Steppenwolf CDs. I used to have these in my car when I was young and kind of wore them out. They were scratched up, and I kind of tossed them. But uh, here's Steppenwolf. I think this is the second album it's called. Yeah, the second. This is the one with the Magic Carpet Ride on it. Here's Monster. I got a bunch of albums coming, too, that I bought on import CDs. I got the Double Live. Here's another group. I, I've seen these. I had them on my wish list, and all of a sudden, they got like down to five and six dollars each. So I picked them up. Alice in Chains. Um, Dirt Alice in Chains. I never. I've had. I got one of their albums. I think on vinyl. Places. I don't know how I'm seeing at them. Um, never really got into them. That was in a period where I wasn't really listening to much music. I was working so much overtime. I listened to the radio, so if it didn't come much on the radio, I didn't hear it. But uh, the devil put dinosaurs here. Alice in Chains. Alice in Chains. Unplugged. Uh, here's another one. Um, I like this band. Um, Zach Brown Band. This is his. It's called Comeback. It's not bad. It's not as good as his first three albums, but it's not bad. And the last one I want to show you is uh, the latest uh, Doobie Brothers. Another one that's good, and I'm glad I picked it up. Oh, guys, still got it. Make sure I didn't miss nothing here. I got stuff all over the place. I think that's it. Oh, I know. I know something I forgot to tell you. I uh, My subwoofer went up that I had sitting here. It was Sir and Vega. had two 8-inch on it. It was great for music. Not so much for surround sound because it didn't go down that low but for music it was good uh i got a new clips uh 12 what's it 12 s or yeah something like that and uh i also was looking on a facebook yard sale and some guy had these paradigm 9 se's they're right there on it oh, yeah you can see it and um he had that and a um receiver a rotel big big rotel i mean a big one um and uh he had it for 300 bucks so i called him up and told him i was interested in it and um he said well i'm coming over there to gettysburg to deliver somebody else's speakers that they bought from me he said i'll just bring them over so he delivered them for 300 bucks couldn't beat that and uh those things sound almost as good as the Wharfdales. Um, I was even thinking about um, keeping them and just selling the Wharfdales off because they really sound, they actually go lower in bass. Um, well, I got I got those hooked up to the this Pioneer old receiver. 
and uh, and this turntable. And man, it really they really sound good, man. I mean, they nice sharp bass in it. Man, they just they sound really good. Uh, and I got um, the Yamaha on this one hooked up to the Borfdales. Um You know me, I'm always changing shit out, but uh, always doing something with this shit. It's, you know, with my back the way it is though, it's getting hard to move this crap around. I got a little thing, it's a little, I picked up at uh, Harbor Freight. It's a little square thing with little wheels on it. I, picked, I always put that stuff and roll it around, man. It's too heavy for me to pick up anymore with the way my back is. <clears throat> I hate having a bad back, man. Whew. I had a really bad one when I was young. I injured it during uh, um, lifting weights and uh, it's been giving me a fit ever since. Matter of fact, that's one of the reasons I retired that my knee, because um, <clears throat> I was only 54 when I retired. I would like to stay longer, but uh, I had the time in, so it wasn't too, too bad. I haven't really regretted it. Um, so I got, that's all I got. Sorry it's so long here, guys. I don't usually like to do them this long. 15 is as long as I like going. I just had so much crap here. I keep telling myself I'm not going to let this many records pile up and uh, have to, you know, make the video so long. <clears throat> and uh, that's about all I got. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. And uh, catch you later. I'm trying to get one of these buttons to work. Nope, don't work. I think the battery's dead on that thing.